Hey guys, how's it going? This is your host, Floodmon14, and we're back with another bonus episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny. Uh, yeah, we're just looking at, uh, Ryu Ran. This is a card you can win, uh, from Pegasus, uh, playing him in single duels. Uh, one of his signature monsters, so that's pretty cool. And, um... We won this card, um, yeah, in between the bonus commentary episode I did last time and this one. Um, also, in those same episodes, and I recorded those on my HD capture device, um, we dueled Mako a bunch more times, and, um, yeah, since he wasn't giving up, giving up a legendary ocean from the obelisk statue, we, um, we dueled him a bunch more times, but this time I picked the, the raw statue because he gave us this, um, in an earlier episode, Torrential Tribute, so I just kept picking the raw statue over and over, and, um, yeah, we finally got one, two, and three. We finally got three Torrential Tributes in our decks, so with that, the trap side of our deck's looking pretty good. Um, and do I get anything else that I want to show off here? Um... I'm wasting time. No, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm not wasting time. What am I talking about? This is a bonus episode. Oh yeah! Blood the Vorse! Vorse Raider. Um, yeah, one of Kaiba's signature monsters. The axe in the hand of this evil animal has tasted the blood of many monsters. Wow. In the US version, was that uh, actually printed with its same blood? It's kind of surprising they didn't censor that. Um, yeah, also one parrot dragon from Pegasus. Uh, not the best card in the world, but hey, neither is Curse of Dragon, and they basically have the same stats, so... Oh yeah, um, we won this from, I think, Shadi? Yeah, Ushioni. This is actually a pretty good fiend monster with 2150. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, Axe of Despair. Um, we won this from... Who did I win this from? Oh yeah, uh, we played Bones, and uh, I picked the Slifer statue, and yeah. Uh, so the equipped monster gains a thousand points, so yeah, I think I put that in my deck, right? Let's see. Yeah. So there we go. Glad I kept scrolling down here. Uh, we also won Gravekeeper Servant. I forget who. Did we win this from Bones too? No, probably won it from like Shoddy or something. I don't. I don't remember. But we got that now. Uh, anything else? Did I get a new piece of Exodia? Yes. Yes. I think we got um a different piece of Exodia that we did not have. And. I think we might have had this. Yeah. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, so, let me... Let me go with... Yeah, let's go with this deck for now. The Warrior deck. And after about a couple duels with Mako... And that's, that's what we're going to be doing in this... Oh, kind of <laughs> lagged on the music there. Uh, but yeah, as you see, I've dueled them 64 times. Yeah, just to get two more <laughs> torrential tributes, man. It The struggle is real. Like, this guy just would not give it up. Oh my god. <sighs> but we finally got a couple. So, now that we're doing Mako, I think uh, what we'll start to go for... Uh, I think I'm going to actually pick the Slifer statue a couple times, because... Um, yeah, he's been real stingy with the Legendary Ocean card from the Obla statue. So I think I'm going to pick Slifer a couple times just to see if we can get... Uh, we'll try to get one Tornado Wall. Yeah. And we'll just keep, keep picking Slifer over and over uh, for that. So, let's see. He has a face down. Not too worried about that. Alright. There we go. Uh, let's see. What else? How you guys doing today? 
Uh, today is February, is it the 20th? I think it's the 20th. February 20th, 2018. Uh, what's been going on? Oh yeah, uh, I'm actually recording this in the daytime again. Um, I could have played Harvey's Feather Duster there, but eh, yeah. I mean, this way, he kind of clears the field for me. And, um, yeah, that way I can maybe attack directly here. Uh, oh, I forgot to play Solemn Wishes last turn. Um, but yeah, I'm actually recording this in the daytime again. What in the deep sea? Um, because... Nice. He, that, so that's Tornado Wall face down. Okay, good. So we got direct attack. Um... Yeah, I'm recording this in the daytime because it's actually... Well, it's not like raining hard to where there's, you know, thunder and lightning and, oh no, my Xbox is plugged in, it might cra uh, crash from a power surge. No, it's not like raining that hard, it's just kind of, uh, it, it's like off and on, but it's not, you know, like, I guess you'd call it a s severe weather. It's not, um, yeah, it's, I guess I'll set this face down, why not, in case he like, I don't know, right yakis me or something. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, with that, I'm, I think I'm still able to record here in the glare time, in the daytime. Um, <laughs> I said the glare time. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, this is a bonus episode. Uh, but yeah, you might see, like, you saw in between the attack there, like, there's a little bit of glare. Um, but, like, not, not enough to where I'm just gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna record, I'm gonna wait till, you know, 7 o'clock, so... Yeah, not, not too much, so... Yeah, because um, the other bonus episode that I recorded, I checked it out in editing, and it looks, it looks for the most part, okay. Um, but against... Yeah, against Pegasus, yeah, yeah, there was a bit of glare, and that's... I don't really think there's much I can do about that, honestly, because, um, you know, his hair is, uh, is uh, silver. Or, or, uh, or, you know, white, so it's really, it translates as being really bright on my TV, so, eh, really, any dual pegs, it's gonna have a bit of glare, guys, so sorry about that, but, eh, you know, not much I can do about it. The other duels with Bones and Bandit Keith were just fine, so that's good. We'll pick Slifer. Nice! Now, see, why can't it be that easy with the Legendary Ocean, Mako? Just pick... Just, just say the card I want, boop, and then, oh, what do you know? We got Tornado Wall, just like that. Boom. So, Tornado Wall. I'm sure what you guys know what it does by now, but in case you don't, as long as you have Umi on the field. Actually, uh, yeah, fun fact, in one of the episodes on my recording device, actually, I had Umi, and he still was able to play this now. I think they errata that ruling to where, yeah, Umi has to be on your side of the field. But anyway, yeah, as long as you, Umi's face up, any damage to your life points becomes zero. Of course, when Umi is destroyed or removed, this card is kaput and destroyed as well. Whoops, wrong deck! Uh, well, I kind of wanted to change decks anyway, so go on, tornado wall in. Now, what do we want to take out for this? You know what? Trap Hole? Yeah, I think Trap Hole can... Yeah, we'll put it in Side Deck, fine. I was gonna say, I think it can go because... And really, honestly, I think it can. Because we have... We have... Yeah, we'll get rid of an Aquamador. That's fine. Um, yeah, because we have three Torrential Tribute now. So Trap Hole's kind of... Well, no, no, it's, it's not completely obsolete because there's some situations where, like, let's say you have three monsters on the field or so, and, you know, if you had to choose between Trap Hole or, we'll build Mako again, if you had to choose between Trap Hole and Torrential, like, if you have three monsters on the field and they normal something, something, you know, good with, like, 1900, uh, maybe you just want to Trap Hole that one monster and then keep all your other monsters. So yeah, there, there's some situations where you want Trap Hole uh, versus Sermental Tribute, so. Nice, first draw, that's awesome. That feels good, man, to, to, to get that going. Um, now, I am gonna set it, because remember, we can play it even if he plays Umi, 
and we'll just play Mystic Tomato, basically. Can't attack on the first turn, eh, might as well set, set something up, so. I'm gonna go get a little bit of a drink. Seven colored fish. Nothing? Okay. Nice. So now that we've got Legendary Ocean. Man, that was a nice first two draws. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now he can play his Tornado Wall, which is fine because I can play mine. So this is a pretty interesting point now. <laughs> Because basically, no matter what's happening, nobody's taking any damage, so... Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Might as well flip Mystic Tomato here. Yep. Orichilla. There we go. And the best part about this is, hey, since no one's taking any damage, like, I don't even need to set a monster. I mean, I guess I'll set Sand in, since we can search for something I want, but yeah. I don't even have to set a monster now, like, because <laughs> um, I don't think Mako has Heavy Storm, or he does not have Heavy Storm, and he does not have Harpy's Feather Duster, that I've seen, that I've seen, so, yeah, once you get the set up with Mako, you're, you're golden, we'll get Cyber Pot, I'm sorry, Cyber Jar, so, there we go, <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna, if we don't get nothing stronger than that, we're just gonna keep skipping, yeah, Screw it, man. Screw it. We'll just set this. Keep skipping. Alright, so where is my... This is a good time, I think. Since we got a stall match going. Where is my list? Let's see... Oh, by the way, I'm not recording this on my HD capture device, and I didn't for the other bonus episode either. Because, eh, you know, it's a bonus episode, like... Um... I kind of was worried about, oh no, like, what if I, what if I record it and just record my voice, but it's been recording my voice lately, so I think we're past that heel, we're past that hump, we're, that's a bygone era now, hopefully, hopefully for good, <laughs> um, so yeah, same thing with this episode, no HD version, so, if you prefer the HD version, instead of my, you know, flooding sexy voice, then, Sorry, I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, I think that's smart because that way it is easier on me and only gives me one upload to do and kind of makes sense, really. I mean, these are bonus episodes. And, like, if it fails for whatever reason, I can just be like, oh my god, uh, yeah, recording an episode and, you know, or I grind it off screen or. I can lie, basically. That's what I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys that I lie. I can't lie. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anyway, card lists. Uh, where did we get to last time in the card list? I don't remember. Is the part? Oops, I forgot to set a card. <laughs> So I'm going to have to discard now. Uh... Penguin Soldier will go. Whoops. That's, that's my bad. Should have said Black Pendant or something. Alright, five monsters. It's time, Mako. How's it feel? How's it taste? How's it taste? Yeah. How about I play Torrential Tribute on your monsters? Uh-huh. Alright. Now, I... I remember I read off Grandpa. I read off Shimon, I think. Yeah, because I've got check marks by that. Read off Yugi. So were we on like Taya, Tristan, Joey? Is that what we were on? Yeah, the next tier, yeah. Okay, so that's what we were on. Sweet, solid wishes. Alright. Um I can't kill this with Umi out, so. Hey, might as well do it again. Might as well just waste a few more of his monsters. I guess what I'm waiting on to draw here would be Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, Harpy's Feather Duster would be good. Start playing Solid Wishes. Hey, if we're both going to stall, might as well increase my LP. Alright, so Taya Gardner. 
Nice. So that's going to destroy my tornado wall, right? Yeah. And his. Okay. Very nice, Mako. Very nice. Alright, Amphibian Beast. Uh, we still don't need to worry about that yet. Taya Gardner. So, a lot of her good cards are in the Slifer statue, but there are some that you can get um, in... I think I'll get Umi back. Yeah, the, there are some you can get in the other statues. So, Taya. Um... So from the Slifer statue, you can get Marie the Fallen one, which I think you guys have seen that. Uh, yeah, some of these you've seen, maybe some you haven't. Torrential Tribute, okay. Bye, mommy. Uh, let's see. From the Slifer statue, you can get the Forgiving Maiden, Saint Joan, which is the fusion of those two, uh, Gemini Elf, let me... Nice. White Magical Hat and Axe of Despair. So this will let, him dis let us discard the last card in his hand, and since there's nothing else out, and really he's going to have the top deck from here, I'm going to soup it all the way up. There we go. So really the only way he's going to kill this is if he top decks Raigeki. Nice. There we go. And that was Turtle Bird. Okay, where was I? Yeah, Gemini L from the Slifer statue on Taya. And again, these cards, like, when you pick them from the statues, there, there are no guarantees, clearly, as you guys have seen in <laughs> this LP. <laughs> yeah, there are no guarantees. Um, ooh, could that be a, another Torrential Tribute? Oh, wow, Meko. <sighs> could that really be a third Torrential? You know what, I'm gonna set this up. I'm, I'm too much of a wuss. I know, guys, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it is Torrential. Because if it would have been Tornado Wall, he would have sprung it there because he has Umi out. Wow. Good call. Okay, yeah, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, there are no guarantees, yeah, clearly, <laughs> um, in this um, game. When you're picking the statue, it's really just nice so we can finish him off. It's really just like, if you pick a statue, you know, you have a chance at, you know, one of the cards I'm reading off. Might take you a while. Might take you 65 duels. <laughs> like with Mako. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. Just an important note. Chop the chum! No! Alright, so we'll pick Slifer again. And, nice! Another tornado wall. Thanks, Mako. You know, thanks for... You know, it's funny, like, coming into this bonus episode, I was kind of... You know, I was, I was kind of salty, man. I was a little... I was a little... Honestly, seeing Mako's face, it was starting to make me a little... You know? Like, I need to go to dueling anger management. <laughs> Dueling Anger Management. Wow, what would that be? Uh, 40 hours of community service, hearing nothing but friendship speeches from Taya Gardner. Oh! Burn! Burn, Taya. Burn, baby, burn. Alright, so we'll duel them one last time. And I guess we'll pick Slifer again. Uh, to see if we can get 320 in a wall. Now, I don't think I'll put 3 in my deck. But eh, you know, bonus episode, doesn't really matter. Put in three, you know, just in case I want to. Uh, anyway, so like I said, no guarantees, yada yada yada. Slifer statue. Beautiful head huntress. Fairy of the fountain. Both of those are female monsters. They have 1600. Eh, kind of good in the early game. Uh, magic kaijo. Oh, I'm sorry, magic jammer. Uh, let me pay attention here. I didn't even see what he played. I just assumed. Uh, Red Sea Snake can take it out. What did you play, my friend? Uh, oh, Armanite. Okay. Oh, there's a... You guys hear that? I think there's a helicopter flying overhead. Sounds pretty low, too. Cool. Hey, maybe that's good luck. Just like, uh, Cyber Knight in his videos when he's opening, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. <laughs> uh... That's a cool elf here, by the way. That's that's like one of the guys I check out, you know, you know, in between while I'm editing videos, you know, just like he opens up all kind of different stuff and uh, yeah, pretty funny too sometimes, so. 
hey, feel free to check him out. I mean, I'm not sponsoring his channel or anything, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we can direct this at. But yeah, that's like one of his catchphrases. Like, <laughs> cause he opens up packs like all the time. And sometimes when he, when a helicopter flies up in ahead, like he'll get something really rare, like a, like a secret rare. Or, yeah, like a secret rare Trihorn Dragon or something like that. From, uh, Legend of the Blue Eyes. So this one's going a lot easier with Mako. No stalling. So, anyway, I think we read off what Fairy of the Fountain Magic Jammer from the Slapper Statue still. Uh... Numinous Healer, uh, Gift of the Mystical Elf, Aqua Course, and Polymerization you can win from the Slapper Statue from her. So, that's pretty good. You need it if you're gonna play anything fusion-wise. Okay, so if you... Now, if you do the triple duels, the tier duels, and you put Taya last, um, you can win... You can potentially win these cards uh, from the tier. Witch's Apprentice, uh, Mystical Sand, that's a pretty good fusion actually, um, has 2100, I think it's Giant Soldier of Stone and something else, so, um, Kaminari Attack, another, that's a solid fusion, uh, Empress Judge, it has 2100, Electric Lizard, Electric Snake, the Immortal of Thunder, now that's a risky card to use, um, but it can be... Okay, nothing there. It can be pretty helpful in the triple duels. So, um, yeah, the Immortal of Thunder, it, it has a flip effect to where you gain five... Oh, gosh. Um, to where you gain 3,000 points, but if it's uh, destroyed and sent to the graveyard then you lose 5,000 when it hits the graveyard. Now, something real tricky you could do with this, like, it would especially help in triple battles, is, you know, play some cards to protect it from being attacked. Uh, like, negate attack, whatever you got. And then, use this flip effect, gain 3,000. Okay. Ooh, not a good hand here. Hmm. You know what? We're just gonna pass. We're gonna go to have our hand go to seven and just throw Marie in the graveyard to start the school. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, yeah. You could use its effect, right? And then if you run Penguin Soldier in your deck like I do, then you could return Penguin Soldier itself and the Immortal of Thunder back to your hand, thereby, you know, avoiding taking the. 5,000 hit. Yeah, let's just, well, yeah, let's just end our turn. There we go, get Marie in the graveyard. Yeah, thereby, yeah, eliminating that, that risk. You know, but you would need to, like, negate attacks for, you know, two or three turns to pull that off, so, yeah. Uh, interesting thought, though. Um, anyway, also from the Triple Duels, Slifer Statue, Taya Gardner. You can win Queen's Devil, Elf's Light, uh, the Unhappy Mater. There we go. And so that's it for that. Nice. So we got Royal Decree. Alright, I'm gonna play Cyclone on his face down card. What a spell card. Yeah, boy. Alright. Ah, Twain to Wall, huh? Nothing to worry about. No need to worry. Oh my god, we found an item! Dude, I haven't played that game in so long. And I'm sorry about that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are liking these bonus episodes. I am having uh, fun doing them. Uh, yeah, and feel free to uh, subscribe if you like the, you know, Dawn of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny videos, or any of the other Yu-Gi-Oh! or otherwise, you know, Pokemon or whatever videos I put out on this channel. Yeah, feel free to subscribe, or leave a comment. Um, oh yeah, there's also, yeah, while I'm between statues here for Taya, there's also, nice, so we can play Solemn Wishes, start gaining 700 a turn. There's also one um, person, well I think two people I wanted to give a shout out to, 
Let's see. I think I have their names written down here. Hang on a second. Sorry about the way. Oh, oh no, it didn't matter. It's a bonus episode. Bonus episode. Yes. Relax. Don't. No need to hurry. I did write their names down, right? I know I did. Maybe it's on the list with Grandpa here. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so, sorry, it's been a while. Let me get my turn going here. Nice, Penguin Soldier. Alright. Set a monster. Let's... Let's attack... Jellyfish. Oh. Be good. Jellyfish looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, and in the anime, it, like had a had a nice effect uh, uh, in Duelist Kingdom. Uh, you know, to basically absorb electricity. That's that was pretty awesome. Oh, a tribute, eh? Ooh, now okay, we're good, we're good. Penguin Soldier, ah, and you attack Penguin Sir Soldier first. You ooh. Now I can use Penguin Soldier's special ability, Mako. Go! <laughs> Penguin Reversal! Slide him on that ice. Polar Float Frozen Hell! Alright, sweet. So we were pretty close to, I, I guess, uh, losing at one point here, just because we had a really, 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 really bad hand to start, but looks like we're good now. Alright. So, yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to these two people. Um, Erica uh, Monica, I think is how you say that. Um, she recently, like, um, commented on my Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour Let's Play, and she said that, um, yeah, because one of the episodes we were looking for, Serenity Wheeler. I'm um, surprised she's not in this game, by the way, but anyway. Yeah, uh, she said Serenity Wheeler is her favorite character, and uh, she left a couple comments on some other videos as well, so. Yeah, um, shout out to her. Uh, thanks for leaving a comment. Uh, and you can leave a comment too if you want to, or, yeah, you know, I'm harmless. <laughs> uh, and also to Kevin C., who recently subscribed to the channel. Yeah, thanks for subscribing, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Alright. So, back to the, uh, Slifer stuff that I'm reading out here from Taya. Back to the Slifer. Here we go. Oh, oh, wait, no. I, I'm actually done with the Slifer stuff, that's right. So, we'll move on to the Raw statue. So from the Raw statue, you can also win Marie the Fallen One, uh, and Forgiving Maiden, if you're looking for those, uh, as well as Gemini Elf, which is pretty good. You can win Spirit of the Heart, Neckle Gal number two, that's decent. Uh, it's Beast Warrior with 2,000 defense. Uh, you can win Sonic Maid, Lunar Queen Elzian, Kanan, the Sword Mistress, and Trap Hole, which is pretty good. Uh, if you're going for the raw cards, I would recommend shooting for Trap Hole the most. I think we win here, right? Yeah, we're good. Mako didn't us or any other BS. He didn't tornado wall except the last second here. Didn't matter if he did, we had Mystic Space Life in here, so... Uh, let's see, what car what statue should I pick now? Um, I guess I'll pick the... Obelisk statue? Yeah, go for Electinary Ocean. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's whatever. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then from the Tear Duel for the Raw statue, you can win Queen's Double and Warrior of Tradition. So there we go. Alright, let's back out and save. There we go. Alright, so what should we do next uh, for you guys? Let's take on the 
Let's take on a triple duel. I think we have time for that. Ooh, should I start the next episode? Just cut this in right here? No, no. <laughs> no, we're, we're definitely going to save that for <laughs> for the start of an episode. Uh, let's take on... Let's take on these guys. And let's put Mako last for some reason. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just do a triple duel and mix, mix things up. Oh, feel, better feel a Bronto beatdown of top oh, 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 high reddit proportions. <laughs> oh, okay, Rex. Getting us good with the rock, paper, scissors here. Ha ha. Gotcha, bro. We'll go second. That way I can read some more cards. Um, so, Taya, Obelisk, let's just finish her out. Can win Fire Princess, Lady of Faith from the Obelisk statue. Watcher Omadix. It's got 1400. It's actually a water monster female. Huh? Kind of decent to start with in the if you have it in your starter deck, uh, or if you you know just starting the game. Uh, Muse A, uh, that's a pretty crap monster. I don't know why that's even on this list, but it is. I uh, don't know what you played Rex, but it's probably not stronger than 1800. Uh, we'll set these two, and we'll just attack. I I don't I don't care, man. I can duel this guy with my eyes closed. Wicked Dragon with the Aerosaut's head. Whoa. <laughs> nice, uh, has a nice sprite, I guess, but not very strong. Uh, anyway, Muse A, Necro Gal number two, you can also win from Obelisk Statue, uh, and then some of her fusions you can win. Mystical Sand, uh, Warrior of Tradition, The Immortal of Thunder, oh, and, uh, yeah, these three, Mystical Sand, Warrior of Tradition, Immortal of Thunder, that's from the tier. Yeah, if you, if you do the, uh, tier, uh, yeah and pick the obelisk statue. And then you can win Princess of Suergi. Now that is a pretty good car. Um, uh, it's a flip effect monster and it's a warrior. Um, and it's flip effect is that it inflicts 500 points of damage to your opponent for every spell trap they have on the field. Now some opponents like, let me think, like Pegasus, right? Like, um, yeah, in between duels, like, I'm pretty sure you guys saw, but at one point we were dueling Pegasus, and he had, like, five cards, Spell and Trap cards on the field. He had, like, Toon World, Solemn Wishes, Life Absorbing Machine, and, you know, two other that, you know, I didn't know what they were. But, like, if you use that flip effects against, I'd say if you use Princess of Suergi, even against, like, if they have two Spells and Traps on the field, that's good, that's... That's good damage. That's still a thousand damage. So, yeah, great effect monster, really. Uh, so, yeah, get that from her uh, in the triple uh, from the Obelisk statue if you can. It's a great card. I'd recommend it pretty much in every deck. Um, so, don't need to change anything. Uh, Goddess with the Third Eye. Now, that's a fusion uh, like substitute material monster, um, which is really good, actually. Uh, yeah, that way you don't have to include, like, specific cards, you know, that suck. If you're going for, like, a large fusion deck. With, and, like, for example, you could include that. And instead of having to include Gaia the Fierce Knight, which is a two-tribute monster for the, uh, you know, Gaia the Dragon Champion, you can just include Curse of Dragon, which is a lot easier to get out standalone. And that way if you get... Yeah, you could pull Goddess with the Third Eye with like something like Sandman, and then all you need is um, Fusion Sage, or a way to get your Fusion card, and you're good to go. You can fuse for Guy the Dragon Champion. So, yeah, pretty good monster. And Empress Judge, and that is the last uh, for Taya on the cards you can get from her. Alright, what time are we at? 34 minutes, so I think now's a good point to start reading off some of the cards for Joey. Let me get some water here. There we go. And we'll play White Magic Hat and start chucking some of his cards to the graveyard. Man Eater, oh man. Yeah, Weevil does like his flip effect monsters, doesn't he? Uh, Light of Intervention. Always a good call to side deck and play if you're going to play this guy. Uh, anyway, Joey Wheeler. 
So, from the Slifer statue, you can win some very good cards. Let me just start reading them off. Red Eyes Black Dragon, the Ferocious Dragon with a Deadly Attack, Summon Skull, Alligator Sword Dragon, Fusion of Alligator Sword and Baby Dragon, Meteor B Dragon, uh, Black Skull Dragon. Now, by the way, on Joey, um, just like with um, Little Yuki, um, some of these opponents she'll fight later in, you know, later triple duels, um, and you'll need to update their deck to get some of the better cards, so, like, for example, where we are right now, at this point, I don't know if you can win, like, Black Skull Dragon at this point, from the Slifer statue, um, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, you couldn't, and then you have to, you know, do the thing with the triple duel, and ride cheeky! <laughs> That's made my spell card to me. <laughs> I don't think so, Weevil. I've got a trap card. I just kaijo. Your I guess he can suck it. All right. Ooh, voice crack there. Voice crack for the win. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so beware of that. Like, if you're not getting, you know, the these cards that you want from Joey, don't forget and be like, oh no, you like flooded doesn't work. No, chances are you probably just need to, you know unlock him again in the higher tier. Uh, so. Anyway, a uh, thousand dragon. Baby dragon. Baby dragon. Time is or time to let go. Another man eater bug. Predictable, Weevil. Predictable. Uh, Axe Raider, which we've got. Uh, Garuzis. Kojikosi. Alligator Sword. Uh, Zumbria the Dark. I think that's how you say that. No. I think maybe it's some Byro the Dark. I've always said Zumbria. Maybe I'm dyslexic, I don't know. Uh, Panther Warrior, pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, unfortunately, with Panther Warrior, you have to tribute a monster to attack with it. Uh, Graceful Charity, now we definitely want to try to win that. I don't know if you, once again, I don't know if you can yet, but man, yeah, that would be good. Axe of Despair, Fusion Sage. Polymerization and United We Stand. There we go. Now from the triple duels, uh, if you duel them in the second tier and put them last, you can get Salamandra, uh, Musician King, Guilty of the Dimensional Knight. Wait, is that what the D stands for? Uh, did, actually, does anyone know what the D stands for in Guilty of the D Knight? Huh. Uh, if you know, yeah, feel free to leave a comment, because I have no idea, honestly. Huh, maybe it's Guilty of the Dark Knight. Anyway, you can win Carbonala Warrior, Lightning Blade, which we already have. Pretty good card. Nice. Mystic Tomato, just what I was hoping for. Uh, you can win Hoshiningen. Uh, now, Hoshiningen, uh, it's a, it's, it's kind of like, uh, Witch's Apprentice, but for light monsters. It, like, boosts all the lights on the field and reduces their... Reduces all dark by 400. Boosts all light by 500. Pretty good. Um, now, in... Ooh, um, I'm, I almost spoiled. <laughs> oh, my God, thank God. Well, this is a bonus episode. It's okay. No need to, no need to freak out. But, yeah, I almost spoiled which... <laughs> the next tier which he's on. Um, but I didn't. Well, let me just say it like this. Um, in a later tier, when you play Joey, um, you can win Dragonus the Wicked Knight, uh, Shield and Sword, very good. Um, you can win Legendary Sword, Dragonic Attack, and Graceful Dice. So there you go. Ooh, I need some more water. Okay, there we go. So from the raw statue, you can win Snatch Steel. Pretty good card. Uh, all these are really good. Uh, Change of Heart. Uh, Monster Tamer. So there you go. And that's it for the raw statue. So Slim Pickens, but pretty good cards. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get Cannon Soldier. 
Alright, and then from... Uh, if you duel them in triple, once again, and pick the raw statue, you can get Hoshining in there as well. Nice. United we stand. It's hoping for something like that. Alright, so this will get us finally past this annoying dragon, though. Unless he plays something like, I don't know, Mirror Force. Are you gonna do it, Weevil? Are you gonna Mirror Force me? Kogeki no Mugeki ha! Well, actually, it doesn't matter, Weevil, because guess what? You only have 675 life points left. Thanks to stupidly attacking with Jiraiya over and over. So guess what? I can do this. <laughs> oh, I love it. Cannon Soldier. OP. All right. And we'll... S oh, yeah. I haven't played a card. So we'll set Cyber Jar. <laughs> and go. Gatling Fire. Load my Cyber Jar into your cannon and shoot it directly at his life points to finish him off. Awesome. So, for the rest of the cards from the Raw statue, <coughs> my insect deck will swat it out of the sky. <coughs> uh, Musician King, uh, Hungry Burger <laughs> uh, is a card. Now, this card you can win in a later. Uh, yeah, if you duel them in the later tier. Again, not gonna spoil which one. Dig that beat. Alright, hamburger recipe, which is the ritual to play Hungry Burger. Skull dice! And I activate Grave Robber. Must be still a car from the graveyard. Ha ha ha. All right, and that finishes out the cards you can win from Joey with the Raw. Uh, now, we're at about 42 minutes, so sorry if this duel, you know, cuts out, you know, due to time. Uh, but I haven't seen that notification on my phone yet to where it says the, the battery's at 20%. Uh, but yeah, usually around eh, about 40, 45 to 50 minutes. That's about the max. I can get on my phone uh, while recording. So if it cuts out, eh, sorry, don't worry about it. It's, it's a bonus episode, and I'll just update you guys on everything in a later time. So. Or I'll probably put it in the description. Yeah, if it cuts out, I'll have, update you guys. Anyway, for Joey, let's finish reading off Joey. Ooh, he got Raijiki, so we don't want to play too many monsters here. All right. Umi. Uh, so from the Obelisk statue, you can get Coach Kosi, you can get Battlesteer, Zanki, that's a pretty crappy tribute monster, honestly, Meteor Dragon, oh, I'm sorry, Meteor Dragon, and Rock Ogre number one, you can get also Panther Warrior, and Axe Raider, and Legendary, oh, you can win Legendary Fisherman from, jo oh yeah, he, he did have it, didn't he? Yeah, you can get that from the obelisk statue. Oh, huh, well, speak of the devil. I was just talking about the 20% thing, and that just came up on my phone. So, yeah. All right, so let's finish this off really quickly. Guilty of the Bee Knight. Uh, now, these are from the tier. The first tier. Guilty of the Bee Knight you can get. Warrior Returning Alive, really good. And Swamp Battle Guard and Lava Battle Guard. And uh, I gotta pay attention here. Let's see. Yeah, now he's got Raigeki. That's a problem. Probably won't be able to finish him off too fast. But we have Torrential Tribute, thankfully. And Solemn Wishes. I'm gonna go ahead and play my Umi card. There we go. Alright. And we can still attack. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and attack. Oh, I shouldn't have played Umi first. Darn it. Oh well. Yeah, that's my bad. Could have done a lot more damage this turn. But yeah, we'll just do that and we'll leave Kenneth Soldier. Hopefully to bait out Raigeki. Alright, anyway. Uh, from the next tier where you can duel Joey, uh, one we haven't unlocked yet. If you pick Obelisk, you can get Sojin, finally. Um, then you can also get Sword of Dragon Soul. 
And that is all the cards from Joey's, so get that done. Good. Whew, that was a long list, man. <laughs> oh man, you can imagine the reading of the list will be long for Yami Yugi as well. Alright, Manko, you're doing good here. Actually doing some damage to us. Not bad, bro, not bad. This school's probably actually going to take a while. Don't have the best hand right now. Uh, oh, dur, why didn't I do this last turn? Call of the Haunted. Yeah, revive my cannon, soldier, please. And thank you. Dude, what the heck was I thinking? I guess I was just too focused on reading the list. But hey, it's okay. N nothing really bad happened, and, um... Oh, right, I was planning on playing Torrential Tribute, but he didn't summon. That's what happened. Um, yeah, we can still, we can still get this guy. Alright. So yeah, if I get another notification that says it's down to 10%, I'll probably just stop the video and just let you guys know what cards we won. Right, Jiki! Nope. Feel the power of the thunderclap. Now, I don't want to play Torrential Tribute because that's a flip summon. Oh, damn it. Damn. I thought he was going to normal summon or something. He must not have anything he can normal summon. Ah. Uh, well, you got me, Manko. Man. Playing good, bro. <laughs> Look at that cheesy grin. Uh, there we go. See, that's what I was wanting you to do in main phase one, bro. Take this. Feel the wrath of the ocean. Da -da -da. Oh, a tornado wall, nice. So we won't take any more damage. I think we've got this duel wrapped up, guys. Ah, it's just a matter of time before we finish him off. Whew. Give me that beat. Sacrifice people night to play amphibian beasts. Go, Super Jet Stealth Strike! Alright, and that will do it, guys. Uh, I think we'll just pick the Slifer statue. Alright, and that's the end of this bonus episode, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and ooh, nice. So there we got Return of the Doomed. Uh, so I'll just briefly go over that. Pretty good card. And yeah. Discard one monster from your hand. Return one monster that was sent to the graveyard as a result of battle to your hand at the end of the turn. Alright. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe or like the video. And I will see you guys next time into all of destiny. Bye-bye.